Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 18 of FC Destiny with Barrowtown here in FC 24. We're in our third season with our created club. You see, it's October of 2025, and we sit in 18th in League One after getting promoted last season. Now let's talk about our player of the episode from episode 17. And for the first time in this career mode, it's going to be back-to-back -back player of the episode wins for Masamba Engi, our number one, our six foot eight Senegalian goalkeeper saved a penalty against Stoke City and helped us advance one round there and then put together another master class and helped us advance two rounds against championship sides in the Carabao Cup and once again all last episode made some saves that just left me speechless so he's gonna get a plus 20 to his composure from a 30 to a 50 which doesn't affect his overall at all I just think that affects the kind of player that he is in between the sticks and a plus two reactions from a 53 to a 55 and if you missed what Masamba did last episode or in any of the episodes in this series so far which has been a lot of fun make sure you go back and check it out and make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the family here hit the like button obviously if you like what we're doing and leave some more awesome comments for me to read let's read some of them that you left last episode a lot of love for Big Masamba in the comments. Engi is so good, it's actually unreal. It is unreal. That's why I wrote a little bit of a story on him. Go check it out in the community tab if you haven't already. And this comment's great here, nice and long and detailed, praising Masamba. But check out that second line there. I love this statement here. He, Masamba, is proving that Odell and Angus Lamb keeping this team from relegation isn't just it. Even when they're failing, he's saving our ass. He does it all, guys. He's been the reason we're in the mid-table right now and not in those four relegation spots. Love the energy from my boy Kennedy here. Holy, we knock off another championship team after the Millwall win last episode. Championship ain't ready for us if we get promoted. That is if. It's gonna be a tough league season, but... League Cup's been very nice to us. And ain't that the truth? If Barrow Town sells Quack Gun, a riot would absolutely happen, so let's do something about that here. I feel like it's pretty unanimous that Quack Gun is probably the most fan favorited player at this club. So let's give him a little pay raise, and how about a 14 year extension for Quack Gun? Basically, we're signing our man Quack to a lifetime extension here. He's a Barrow Town player forever and ever. Let me show you what we're gonna be doing here. We're gonna sim the rest of October, so to Two league matches here and then also the EFL Trophy final group stage game against Morecambe, which should be low stress. And then as we move into November, we're going to play West Ham away in the Carabao Cup in the round of 16 here. That's how we're going to start off this episode playing. And then we're going to sim four league matches and get to the away match against Wigan at the end of November and play that one. And then we will continue to move on to December, sim three matches in December and then end with a Boxing Day match at home against Bolton Wanderers who are having a very very good season, so let's get into some Sims here. And in that first match in the league in the Sim, we lose to Derby County on the road 1-0 here, and unfortunately, that is three straight losses for the Firebirds in the league. And then in the EFL Trophy, Shabalala scores in a draw. All we needed was a draw or a win to advance to the knockout stages, so I think we've moved on there. And then a nice bounce back in the league here against Plymouth. We win 2-0, we get the clean sheet. Ovia Jaria scores again, and Azizi Rahman, I think it's his first of the season, at least his first back for from being injured. But now it's time we revisit that Carabao Cup run we're on. And before we face Premier League side West Ham, Ballon d'Or has been announced and for a third straight season in this career mode series, Erling Holland of Manchester City wins it once again. Now the wait is over to see how we're going to line up against West Ham United here. And we knew we were going to be outmatched, but this is amazing. Their lowest overall player is Louis Zhao at center back. He's a 73. We don't even have a player that's 73 overall in our starting lineup or anywhere in our squad. But looking through the West Ham side, I'm curious three years down the road here to see how things have changed a little bit. Callum Wilson's now signed for West Ham. They've got James Ward-Prowse, who's 31 years old now still. Galeno's a great player on the left wing he's got 92 pace Solly Marsh they signed him from Bright and I feel like he's a very West Ham signing we're gonna have to go up against Edson Alvarez captaining their side who's just one of the great young center defensive midfielders in the game even now even I'm sure in three years he'll be even this good too and Ariel in goal is no joke this West Ham team is absolutely no joke they've got Eli Wahi, Caduz, Paqueta, and Mavropanos just sitting there as subs waiting to come in against us but we're gonna send out the same line 
lineup we have been for the Carabao Cup. The one we sent out against Millwall when we went up 2-0 and looked really good. We're going to do the same breakout scenario as we did against Millwall. Anybody who scores in this match is going to get plus one to their potential. So just an amazing chance here to play a Premier League team and just see what we've got out there. Let's get into this one. Come on, lads. And it's crazy to think about Barrow Town being one of the last 16 teams here in the Carabao Cup. You love to see it. Callum Wilson already with a chance here. Yufeko defending, tingling it in the way. Not bad, Barrow Town. Oh, yeah. It's an Alvarez takes a good touch here. Njai having to save that one out for a corner. Galeno cutting well here. In the box, off the post. Callum Wilson with a chance. Good defending. Jojo Betts to take it away from James Ward-Prowse. And Betts gives it away. Here come West Ham again. Galeno right around Betts. Look at the pace here. John Leofeco. Oh, yes. Darigan is defending well. Oh, look at that. He takes it away from Galeno and he gives it back. Wilson with it here. Tingling to defend. Tingling trying to get back in play. And Galeno smashes that one. What a goal. Got to do better to get in position there. What a smash it was. But let's fair to say this one's been coming. And it's halftime here, and it's only 1-0 to the Irons. Diogo Mello doing well here. Mello looking over the top for Quack Gun. He's going to win a free kick here against Edson Alvarez. Nicely done there, Diogo. Fuchs to whip in the free kick. Josh Nisbet is almost there. That almost worked out. Good interception, Odell Tingling. Come on, Firebirds. Kufal breaking down the wing here. Jojo Betts having to defend. Not getting in a good position. Callum Wilson has it. Yafeko takes it away. He's been awesome. And we're going to mix it up a little bit. Mello goes out to the right wing. Nico's going to come in now. And Cosmo Wicks on the left wing. We're still only down one goal. Let's see if we can create another chance here. Dargan is defending well. Get in there, Dara. Love to see that. Wicks onto Ajaria. Ajaria back to Cosmo Wicks. Cosmo Wicks onto Zivergadins. This is nice here from Barrowtown. Nikolai onto Ajaria. Good pressure. Barrowtown are playing with a little bit of confidence right now. Oh, Cosmo Wicks picks it off here. Cosmo Wicks with a chance. Barrowtown have tied this match up. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, we looked over the top. A deflection goes Cosmo Wicks way. The press pays off. And guys, we're tied with West Ham. Galeno has it here, trying to beat Dara Guinness, and he hasn't done a whole lot of that today. Dara Guinness against Emerson, he does well, and Barrow Town are coming after him again. Nisbet, nice ball here to Jojo Betts. Betts on to Cosmo Wicks. Can you believe this right now? Cosmo Wicks looking over the top for Zivergadins. What a ball, and Areola's quickest. And here come West Ham again. Callum Wilson's going to pick it up. James Ward-Prowse has a chance. Masamba Njai makes the save. Oh, my God. And we're going to bring in Victor Lundberg for Gene Doe Fuchs here. If we can see this one to extra time and keep it tied, it doesn't go to extra time. We'll get penalties against West Ham. My God. West Ham have it here in the box. Looking dangerous. Flynn Downs gets it. Masamba saves again. Wow. I'm speechless. This is just a heroic... Marvelous effort here defensively. The fact that we got a goal is amazing. Oh my god. And this is about as good as it gets right here. This is why you love this game. This is the beautiful game at its finest right here, lads. One shot, one goal versus 11 shots. Two expected goals. Let's have some penalties. Come on, Masamba. Oh, Masamba guessed right. It's Ovi Ajaria to take for Barrow Town. Areola guesses right. Goodness. Paqueta. Masamba saves! Now it's Cosmo Wicks. And Wicks goes right down the middle. Ariola was going there too. Here's Edson Alvarez. Masamba goes the wrong way. It's Nisbet. Josh Nisbet skies it. And Barrow Town have yet to make a penalty. If they can't save this here, West Ham are going to go through to the quarterfinals. Goal! Galeno! West Ham are through. And you know what? To get to this point at all, that, it's just... I have no words to describe how much this means to the club. This is our third year of existence. We made it to the round of 16 in the Carabao Cup, and we're knocked out by a Premier League team on the road in penalties. This is a team with a bright 
future. The biggest of shout outs to Cosmo Wix, who came in late, scored against West Ham and took it to extra time. Absolutely unbelievable. And Dyer Guinness, who I thought was our best player on the pitch tonight, he stood up to Galeno, who has 92 pace. I don't even think he has 72 pace. And Masamba Njai, I thought he was outstanding, as always. What a day here, even in defeat. And like I said I would in the breakout scenario, Cosmo Wick's potential is going to go from a 70 to a 71 now since he scored against West Ham. And since he scored against West Ham, I'm also just going to give him a plus one composure. I mean, that was just absolutely against every run of play and so awesome. And I'm making the decision after the West Ham match. John Leofeco has proved to me time and time again this season that he's just much better quality than Angus Lamb until he proves that he doesn't deserve this spot. I'm going to let John Lee be our starting left center back. All right, so let's sim through November. We've got four matches to sim. Then we're going to play Wigan here at the end of the month. And how about Cosmo Wicks? First game in the sim here against Peterborough. We win 2-1 and Cosmo gets two more, building off of that West Ham goal he scored. And then against Mansfield Town in the sim, 3-2 high scoring affair. Luckily, we're the ones to win it. Nikolai, Azizi, and Ovi all score in this one for the Firebirds. And then we head down the coast to face Bristol struggle a little bit here and lose 1-0. And then in our next match, we just can't score goals all of a sudden. Two straight goalless matches. At least we got a point out of this one. Nil-nil draw against Stevenage. And Duophone has come to us. He doesn't like being our cup keeper. He doesn't like being the backup here, so he wants to go out on loan, which is pretty frustrating. We'll just tell him that he'll come back stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, Dua, and uh, Josh Nisbet's happy. Proud of you, buddy. So since Dua Phone wants to leave on loan, we're going to try to bring in free agent goalkeeper Mark Gillespie for just a year or two. He's 33 years old. I don't know. We need someone to start cup matches and whatnot. And there's the agreement. Mark Gillespie is going to be our new backup goalkeeper just while Dua Phone's on loan along with our other youth players that are out on loan. Uh, goalkeeper. And there he is. I don't know. I think we need a little bit of a ginger presence in our squad. So Mark Gillespie is your new backup. He's honestly not that bad. And we have an FA Cup match scheduled coming up. Dua Phone's not going to want to play in it. So Mark's going to get the start. So let's get into our next one against Wigan. Here's your starting 11. Moyo Mushi starts for Nisbet in this one. Saeed Saeed starts for Dara Guinness. He's out with personal issues. And your breakout scenario is going to be for Jojo Betts. If he can dribble by three defenders with a skill move, he's going to get plus two to his dribbling plus one to his agility here well, let's get into this one come on lads jojo bets around one defender not around the second jojo bets getting by one defender there not a second we're gonna give it two so far oh Saeed Saeed having to defend here and doing it well gets it out to azizi rahman on the break and he can counter come on azizi rahman taking it pretty far here into Zivergadens. Good touch here. Wicks finishes. Cosmo Wicks stays hot. 1 0 Barrowtown. Good unselfishness here from our striker to leave it off for Cosmo Wicks. And we've got ourselves the lead. There's the spark. Just before halftime here. Wigan have it in the box off of a corner. Jones crosses it in. Blocked by a tingling. Kerr picks it up. Njai collects. Halftime. 1 0. John Leofeco blocking and doing well. NJ saving the rebound. Nicely done. Chindo Fuchs picks it up here. Fuchs can look over the top for Rahman. I like it here. Rahman in towards Zivergadins. Nikolai Zivergadins on his weak foot. Saved by Tickle. Good defending here. Good pressure. And Yofeco heads it on to Wicks. Cosmo Wicks. Nice dribbling here. Jojo Betts. Getting around some men here. You know what? I'm going to give him the dribbling upgrade. Good passing here. Ovi Ajaria. Zivergadins. Finish it off. Good unselfishness. 2-0 Barrow Town. Jojo Betts starts the attack. Ovi Ajaria gets plenty of space and leaves it off for number 99. Love it. And Victor Lundberg is going to come on for a tired John Leofeco who's been playing a lot recently and been playing great. Saeed Saeed. Really good body positioning. He's been very good this match. Njai with an absolute stinger out to Cosmo Wicks. Oh, good pressure here from Barrowtown. Mushi wins it. Moyo Mushi has also been at his best today, which isn't the best, but he's been very good. Jones trying to take it forward. Gindo Fuchs getting in the way. What a match this was for Barrowtown. Nothing for Wigan and all the good stuff for the Firebirds. There's your final whistle. 2-0. Let's go. 
Cosmo Wicks got himself yet another goal. Nikolai Zivergadin's great match, assists, and a goal for him. Ovi Ajaria got himself a nice assist. John Leofeko was excellent once again. And Masamba Njai at his very best once again. This team is firing right now. I'd love to see if we can catch some league form heading into the new year. And following that match, and honestly this season, I've thought Giovanni Betts has been really good for us. But because of that breakout scenario, he's going to get an upgrade to his dribbling. So he's going to get a plus two to his dribbling rating now up to 59. And his agility goes up from a 68 to a 69. But this brings up a conversation I want you guys to have with me in the comments. Let me know who do you want to be our starting left back with the best 11 we've got out there because I think Francis Paul still definitely deserves to be our number one guy but Jojo Betts has absolutely pushed him this season two very good players in their own right but which one do you think should be our starting left back we're still going to rotate them both in a lot regardless so don't worry about that so our next match is in the FA Cup we've drawn Swindon Town we're going to sim that match sim three more matches and then play on Boxing Day like I said let's see how we do against Swindon in Mark Gillespie's debut for Barrow Town in goal and not a bad match defensively but we lose one nail just the one goal allowed we couldn't find a leveler so we are officially knocked out of the FA Cup here and then our next match in the league we win two nil two for Nico he seems to be catching form at the right time and we we keep up our league form that's back to back 2 0 wins now. And we're officially loaning out Duophone, but we're only gonna do it short term. I still want him to be our backup goalkeeper, but. I don't know, we want to accept the loan just to meet his request. And on the road in the league against Barnsley, we lose 2-1 in our next sim. John Leofeko gets a yellow card and his first goal for Barrowtown here. And then in our last match in the sim before we play at the end of December here, we draw Peterborough 1-1. Big Nico scores again. So here's a look at the League 1 standings. I haven't shown them to you in a while. Look at us there in 15th with 8 wins, 8 draws, 8 losses, 32 points. We're 7 clear of the relegation area, which is good. We've put some space between us there. But as you look up the table here, it is tight. It's very tight here in the mid-table where we live right now. And then as you keep going up, you see 39 points is the promotion playoff spot right now. So we're 7 points off of the promotion playoff spot. This is going to be a good one against Bolton. It means a lot. If we win, we make a statement and hopefully gather some momentum and needed form as we head into the new year with hopes of a playoff spot. So here's your starting lineup against Bolton. The only decision I had to make was left back and I'm starting Jojo Betts again in this one. Breakout scenario is going to be for Azizi Rahman. If he can score today, he's going to get plus one to his finishing. Easy one. Let's go have some fun out there on Boxing Day. Come on, lads. Rahman. Zizi Rahman. Guinness crosses it in. Ajari is there. Might be a chance here for Bolton. Tingling in the way, intercepting, good defending. Cosmo Wicks still dribbling with it. Cosmo Wicks heroically going forward, getting it to Ajaria. Ajaria back for Rahman. Azizi Rahman has it here. What a strike! Nice ball here from Ovi Ajaria and Azizi Finesse. God, look at this one. Smashed it. Bolton. Coming at Darganis here. Ball's going to get in the box. Enjai saves at his near post. And Barrow Town are playing this perfectly right now, withstanding the pressure, playing good defense. And we've already gotten our chance to score, so now let's see if we can hold them. Bolton might have a chance here. Enjai saves, of course. Goodness, our Senegalian wall does it again. Cosmo Wicks, that is brilliant. On to Jojo Best. Jojo Best is going to cross it into a dangerous area. Acharya almost gets on it. Goodness. Zivergadins has it in the box here. Good dribbling, Nikolai. Nico, turning, shooting, save. Adeboyejo tries to get by John Lee Afeko, but that is hard to do. John Lee's been great again in this match. Ref should blow for halftime. He does there. Barrow Town got the goal they needed here, and let's see if we can hold it in the second half. Nice ball here, John Lee Afeko. Oh, okay, that works. Star Guinness, here we go. Rahman has it here, on to Zivergadins, Nikolai whipping in the box, Ajari is there, what a save, goodness. Good passing here, Nikolai looking over the top for Rahman, Azizi Rahman has it here, Ajaria. Cosmo Wicks goes for it, too strong. And as always, it's not a bad idea to bring on Chaos, Quack Gun's gonna come in, and so is Diogo Mello in the midfield. Nisbet dribbling. Josh Nisbet forward with it. Looking for Mello. Oh, I thought it was going to go to Quack Gun. 
Chance here for Bolton. Charles has it. Yafiko intercepts, and that was actually more dangerous than I thought it was going to be. Shabalala and Lundberg are going to come in here. Cosmo Wicks was taken care of by Bolton today. They did a great job with him, but trying to hold on to a 1-0 lead now. Come on, guys. Might be a chance here for Bolton. Tingling having to defend. Doing it well. Enjai saving at the near post. Oh, nice ball here. Mello on to Nisbet. Nisbet on to Shabalala. Here's Thoko Shabalala. Shabalala on to Quack Gun. Can he finish? Quack, Quack Gun! Good dribbling from Shabalala. Really clever little pass here, and Quack Gun coolly does what he does best, and that is score late. The Korean Devo Karigi, baby. Oh, bad touch here. Doherty trying to get in on goal. Tingling. Yafeko in the way. Look at Barrow Town coming together and creating chaos. Really good defending. And a last chance for Bolton here as it is a corner. Keeper comes up. Enjai collects. Barrow Town with a huge three points there. Another clean sheet this season for Masamba Enjai. And Really big win for Awushi Adu and the Firebirds here. That's a good one. Proud of the lads for withstanding Bolton's pressure. Toko Shabalala came on and dribbled around and got that assist at the end there. Very nice from him. Quack Gun, as always, finds a way to score. Azizi Rahman with a beautiful, beautiful Mohamed Salah-esque finesse goal. Ovi Ajaria provided the beautiful assist. Nisbet was really good. Fuchs was everywhere. Bess was good. Yafeka was good. The whole defense was great. Masamba Enjai doing his very best once again. 2-0, clean sheet, and a win. That's gonna do it here for this episode. Episode 18, we're really moving with this series and I'm loving it. Next episode is a big one. We're gonna be doing the January transfer window and I do have a name in mind. I don't know if his contract's gonna be up. I have to go check that now, but he is the one signing I wanna make for next season, even if we don't get him for free in January. But it's gonna be fun seeing who it is next episode. And as we continue on this amazing journey with Barrow Town, our created club here, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment as always. I appreciate all of the love. Until that next episode though, this has been Therios. You'll never walk alone.